Okay, everybody, we have Diamond Miller, Mimi Collins, and Coach Brenda Fries. Coach, you can make your statement. Yeah, um, you know, I always say road wins are precious. So I'm um, really proud of the fight. I mean, this uh, was not an easy game for us today, um, but just, uh, you know, loved our response, especially in the second half. I mean, I thought you saw um, fatigue today. I think when you talk about, you know, four games in nine days and being out on the road for the last five days, um, we missed a lot of, you know, I think 10 layups at halftime, a lot of um, easy plays that, that we're used to making. So um, like we talked about at halftime, every game's different. You got to find a, a way to respond. And I thought this team did it and really proud of, of both Mimi and Diamond. I thought they were terrific today. I mean, just gave us the boost and the energy, double, double, um, really every point and every rebound that we needed to have. I thought uh, they just had a tremendous response uh, within their game for us today. Okay, we, we will start with Kareem. Hey, Brenda, congratulations. Thanks, Kareem. I want to ask, you know, different kind of win. You guys obviously had to find a different way to pull it out today. Is there value in that? You know, you guys, you know, sometimes you win games so easily <laughs> and throw up so many points. Is there value in having to find a different way to win? Yeah, yeah. there is. I mean, uh, you know, that's what we talked about. I mean, this is what... Um, you could face a team like this, uh, you know, in the NCAA tournament. Um, you know, this is why we love the fact that we're going to have played everybody um, in the Big Ten play in case we see Northwestern again uh, in, in the tournament. Um, so, you know, yeah, I mean, you, you, you just finding a response. And I think especially on on a night when when you you know, we, we didn't have our best best game collectively as a team. You know, when you talk about um, from scoring end, uh, you know, not to have a three at halftime. Um, credit to Northwestern. I thought they were really, really good, uh, you know, defensively and with their scout for us. And speaking of defensively, 50 points was a season low for them. Um, I guess this is another example of your defense starting to pick it up during this last stretch. Yeah, you know, we talked about, I mean, we had more steals than them. And, uh, you know, this is a team that prides himself uh, in that area. Um, so, you know, I thought we just did a tremendous job understanding at different times when we had to have a lockdown and, and get a big stop. I thought we were able to do that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, Dylan, go ahead. Hey, Coach, congrats on the win. Uh, Katie and Chloe both struggled with shooting from the floor today. How are you expecting both of those veterans to respond with such a big game against Michigan coming up? Yeah, um, they will. I mean, they always have all season long. Um, I, I love the fact that they kept their head in the game. I mean, Katie had that big three for us that really gave us some space um, in the fourth quarter. So, so she really kept her head in the game. And I thought Chloe as well. I mean, late game, we were able to um, continue to keep using their experience. But, you know, great teams find other ways. And, and that's where you talk about, you know, the weapons that we have and the depth and to see the response, um, obviously, of, of Mimi coming in, uh, you know, giving us the, the lift that we really needed to have inside. Um, you know, I mean, that's what you've got to be able to have where different players can carry that load. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay, Varun. Hey, Diamond. I wanted to ask about just how you guys were so dominant defensively, especially in the second half and specifically the fourth quarter. What were you guys trying to do to limit their offense? Um, we wanted to stop like the penetration. Uh, number 12 was doing a really good job driving. And we wanted to stop her as, I'm sorry, I saw my mom that was weird. Okay, um, we just wanted to stop her from driving. So we were just focusing and digging and playing Maryland defense to the best to us to the best of our abilities. Cool. And then coach, I wanted to ask you the same question. What were you guys trying to do? And what was the difference between the first and the second half where the first half, the defense was good. And then the second half it became, I mean, they couldn't score for like the last three and a half minutes. Yeah. Like. You know, I, I thought, you know, we tried to mix it up with man and zone in the first half. And I think we stayed in the zone too long. They, they got too comfortable and in a rhythm. Um, so, we, you know, we definitely just brought our energy back uh, collectively with, with, with our man defense. Um, so, you know, I thought we, we were a lot more focused and, and locked in and, you know, you know, better communication across the, the board within the team. So you guys went to man to close the game? Yes. Thank you. Yep. All right, Kareem. Hey, hey, I had one for Mimi. Yep. Congratulations on the win and the good game. Uh, Thank you. That's what I wanted to ask about, you know, what was a day like tonight for you where, you know, 
offense is hard for is coming hard for some of your teammates and you're kind of down there and just banging and and I'll putting back offensive rebounds what was what was tonight like for you um it was an amazing night but it was also just having understanding that I have weapons on this team like we're all 11 strong like and Northwestern has great guards and they were just trying to deny our guards but we still kept on attacking and it just opened up um for all the bigs inside, especially for me, and just looking over the top with us driving, kicking, and just throwing over the top for high lows, it was just basically me having a field day. And plus, I don't mind hitting people. So <laughs> that's what I was gonna ask. Do, do you like these kind of games when it gets a little bit physical and, and and you get to really kind of bang and do your thing down low? Yeah, I love it. Um, I grew up with two older brothers, so me playing football and running into people all the time, like that's just this is my field day. So that's perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we will go to Lauren and then Adam to close out. Hi, I have a question for Diamond. You have, we've talked a lot about your development as a player kind of on both sides of the court all season and tonight, you definitely had some big plays on the defensive end. You had that great steal in the first and then, you know, you were part of that big 9-0 run in the third quarter. So for you, how does it feel to kind of be able to develop alongside your teammates? Um, to be honest, I, I'm just trying to win the game, doing whatever my team needs me to do. So if I need to get the steal, I had to. And we're just going to try to keep winning, banging it out every game. And it was an ugly win, but we'll take it. So I'm just doing what my team needs me to do every time I step on the court. Thank you. OK, Adam. Adam, I don't think we can hear you. Adam, why don't you just try typing your question? Okay, wait, can you hear me now? Oh, yes, now yep. you are You are good. I, so, sorry about that. I was, it was confusing. So I had one for Brenda and one for Mimi really quick. So um, uh, where was I? Brenda with uh, Angel Reese had, it seemed a uh, fewer minutes than in the previous game against Purdue. So was that dictated by how the game was going or is this sort of a period you're using to experiment with different groups of forwards with and without Angel before it gets to be the postseason? Um, yeah, you know, it's a, a little bit of both. I, I think she was, um, you know, really excited to, to be playing today. Um, but, you know, I mean, you know, these games obviously were, were coming down to possessions and, you know, just, you know, obviously with, with different rotations, you know, there was some symmetry that, um, was taking place. And, you know, the beauty of that is, is that every game is going to be different. And um, as we're working Angel back and uh, with her, you know, continuing to be patient, it's going to, it's going to be a process for her, uh, you know, as we, we bring her back into the fold. Um, so, you know, obviously it's just, uh, you know, taking one day at a time and, and being smart, but we're super excited, obviously, with, with what she brings to the table. Thanks. And my question for Mimi, um, Hi, Mimi. Um, great, great game, great game today. And I know you didn't transfer the same season. I know you've been here for a year now and, and it's um, it, you had sat out last year versus people who transferred in like Chloe and some others who, who just arrived, Katie, obviously. Um, I just wanted to ask you generally, like the collective group that has transpired here this year and, and gotten uh, some chemistry going, how, tr how tricky was that earlier in the year because of the pandemic and because of the uh, restrictions there were in place because of the pandemic? And how do you feel things are clicking now? Um, first of all, it wasn't tricky at all. Um, okay. but we did a great job um, setting everything up with the Zoom calls, um, having team meetings and um, doing like team bonding activities through a Zoom. So we were just connecting so easily. And um, once it got to in person, it was just so easy to click with each other and we just had fun. And I knew Chloe from playing against her um, at Mississippi State when I was at Tennessee. Um, Katie came in as just a sweetheart and just very open arms and we just opened up arms with them and it was very easy to get along. Um, now we're like, we're still like this. So it's like, nothing's really tricky. We're just, and it proves on the court with how we share the ball as well. All right, thanks yeah. very much. Thank you. All right. Thanks, everyone. That's it.